Let's monitor a P25 digital system. We're using Unitrunker again, and we have our two receivers. This is the signal receiver, or the control channel receiver, and this is the voice receiver. They're both running. Let's take a look at the signal receiver. And yes, there is signal. So we're currently monitoring the control channel on this frequency. And as you could see, it's a 700 megahertz system. It's not terribly busy. It's used by public agencies as well as the New Jersey State Police. But the New Jersey State Police still uses the 800 megahertz analog system as the primary system for dispatch. But there are talk groups patched over here. Our role is set to signal. That's good. And the status is decoding. We don't need any audio output or digital output because we're monitoring a control channel. We're not going to look to the audio. We're set to P25, which is good. And the health is 100. So let's pop on the audio receiver. Over on the audio receiver, we're set to voice. Our digital output, which is important here, is set to the virtual audio cable. The reason we're using the virtual audio cable is we will take the output of this receiver and send the digital data to another program called DSD Plus, and DSD Plus is the program that will actually decode it and make it audible to the human ear. And again, we're set to both analog and P25 here. It doesn't matter if you have more checked off than needed. It just makes it easier so you don't have to go constantly check and uncheck things. One other thing, if we come back up here, you'll see that the control receiver knows we're monitoring an APCO P25 system. So we have signal on the control channel. We're not receiving any audio yet. It's flatlined there. Let's minimize this for a moment so I can get to the icon for DSD+. And I will place this down here. And the first thing we have to find out is what input device does DSD Plus need to use for the virtual audio cable? So one of the things that is a sort of old school limitation of DSD Plus is that it uses numbered interfaces. So we have to run DSD Plus once without any parameters and it will tell us the number of the interface we want. And you see here we need input device number two, line one virtual audio cable. Output device number one is currently set to the speakers, and that's fine. It'll be used by default. So let's back out of here. And if you notice, while we were doing this, there was some audio signal over there on the voice receiver, but we didn't hear anything because we didn't have DSD Plus up and running. So let's start DSD Plus. It's going to open a few windows for us. We'll arrange them on the screen the way we like, and then we'll wait a moment to see what we can hear.